Check out the headlines. Now it's time to send it back to our 10 About Town crew live at the Knoxville Convention Center on the eve of the opening of Fantasy of Trees. Ladies. All right, Robin, thank you so much. We are loving being surrounded mm. by these Christmas trees. But whenever you come and you visit Fantasy of Trees, it's not just a holiday tradition for you and your family. It also gives you a chance to help some of the youngest patients right here in our own community. So this is Max. He is two and he is definitely a warrior. He has been through so much in his short little life and he um, does it with a smile and never gives up. He's our blessing. Are you relaxed? But this blessing had to battle his way into this world. Mom Danielle Garceau knew Max would be born with Down syndrome, but she had no idea he would suffer a stroke in utero and be born lifeless. And the staff and doctors and nurses at East Tennessee Children's Hospital were there to resuscitate him. So to say that was unexpected would be an understatement. The first 72 hours he was cooled um, to help save the brain from further damage. And during those 70, 72 hours, we had no clue um, if he was gonna make it. So he is truly our miracle baby. And this miracle baby has become a familiar face in the neurology department at East Tennessee Children's Hospital. The team there focuses on non-surgical brain issues, such as headaches, seizures, and developmental delays. Uh, but I think my goal as a neurologist is to help every child reach their full potential. And sometimes that is getting back to 100%. Sometimes that's refocusing on quality of life and trying to make the time that they have as meaningful as possible. And that goal will get a big boost this year from the Fantasy of Trees. All the funds raised will benefit the neurology program. We're really excited just to be able to grow the department, make some changes that's going to be able to impact probably thousands of kids in the long run. And we love the neurology department. They have been with us since birth and they already give us top-notch care. So the fact that they're going to get the funds from Fantasy of Trees, it only means better care, which I don't know how it could get much better, but it's exciting. They'll get the new technology they need to be the best of the best. And that's important for the patients there, including Max. He's at the hospital almost every other week, getting the care he needs to keep being his mom's miracle. He is doing absolutely wonderful. He is beating the odds. He is behind developmentally, which is expected, but he's making gains. He's making progress, which is all we could ever hope for. And he's happy. We always said as long as he's happy, we're good. And we're good. <laughs> And a reminder, all of the sales from the trees, the decorations, and the gingerbread houses all go to support the neurology department at Children's Hospital this year. Such a worthy cause. 